Okay, guys, in this show, we are doing your iCave answers. We've got so many coming because of the event that's coming up. So it makes the most sense to actually just do it that way. So let's get into it. Levi Manning asks, uh, iCave answers, will iPhone 14 USB lightning port and will it come with USB charging or USB-C to charge? So this is obviously for later in the year. This isn't for the event that's coming up right now. That's the one where we're going to be seeing the SE models. Um, but no, it's going to be lightning. I don't think we're going to be getting USB-C on any iPhones ever. Uh, and I did put out a tweet on Twitter, because that's where you put out tweets, saying that I think Apple, if anything, would probably uh, use USB-D or something just to annoy everyone, um, just so they didn't do USB-C like we all wanted. Next up, Levi Manning asks, I cave answers, when is MacBook Air M2 coming out? Release date. Uh, now, MacBook Air M2, I think we're going to be seeing later in the year, maybe June, maybe in the fall, but I think we are going to be seeing M2s at the event uh, next week, and I think it's going to potentially come in a MacBook. Everyone's saying MacBook Pro. I think they're going to give it that MacBook moniker. I think the uh, M2 MacBook Air is going to go up in value. So that's going to be around about the $1,200 mark with mini LED displays. This one that we're going to see at the next event is probably going to be the very base model using LCD displays, probably dropping the touch bar. And I think it's going to be the old MacBook Pro, the 13 inch, but without the touch bar. I think that's what they're going to do. That's going to be the new entry level. Team Kinetics asks, IK Vance's rumoured March 8th event. Uh, invite expected tomorrow. Yeah, we're a little bit past that. Appears to be full of old designs with new chips. Do you think we'll see anything unexpected too? Something that improves the quality of life like MagSafe on all things would be nice. Um, I think where Apple is reusing old designs, that is the places where we're not going to get MagSafe coming through. I don't think they're going to kind of retrofit it onto the 13-inch MacBook Pro body uh, that we're seeing. However, it does look like we're going to get the redesigned Mac Mini, that new body style which uses the same connector, which is magnetic, as the iMac, which also means that the power supply will be external, not internal as it is now, which gives a little bit more room for, I don't know, cooling Pro chips. That's, I think, the exciting stuff that we'll be seeing. Um, but a new MacBook, you know, realigning the lineup of notebooks would be awesome too. Team Kinetics also asks, I gave answers, thoughts on the rumoured A13 chip coming in rumoured Apple monitors. While we still don't think the Apple Silicon will serve as an eGPU, might it be able to add some Apple Silicon functionality perhaps to older Intel Macs? Perhaps using the neural engine for Face ID or smart image features from an eyesight camera in the monitor, or possibly to allow daisy chain monitors without using all the Thunderbolt bandwidth. I think we're kind of overthinking it here. If anything, I think it's going to be uh, for power management and potentially um, working out which parts of the uh, which parts of the mini LED backlights are lighting up. That kind of thing. The only other stuff that I think. Uh, might be uh, in use is, as you say, for cameras. I think it could be for giving a bokeh effect on the background images and reducing the, the um, strain on the computer that it's attached to. I don't think we're going to be seeing it uh, kind of bringing any additional features other than that. I think it's more kind of using their own chips instead of third-party chips to manage the displays. Sean P asks, hi Cave Answers, hi, Kay. hi Dave, thanks for all you do. Quick questions, one, why does Apple need to make an iMac Pro with an M1 Max or Pro in chip inside? Couldn't they just go directly to an M2 Max or Pro? Same with all the other iterations of the computers we're waiting for. For me, an iMac with 27 inches. So we'll hit that one first. Um, they could, uh, but I think they're trying to get all of the models done first. I think uh, M2, Max and Pro is probably going to be later in the year. Um, I think we're going to see a first generation first and then the others. It's the displays that are holding everything up right now. And number two, any chances that we'll be seeing an Apple gaming console, new Apple TV this time around? I know it's way early in the cycle, but the last one was pretty lame. Cheers, mate. Okay, so to be completely honest, the Apple TV does everything that it's supposed to do at the moment. I really don't think Apple will make a gaming mon uh, gaming console. It doesn't make any sense for what they do. They make multi-purpose computers in pretty much every case. So from a Mac to an iPad to an iPhone, they can all do multiple things. It, as I've said in the past, it's just like buying a computer that is specifically for video editing. And if you needed to edit a Word document, having to go uh, to a different system. Doesn't make any sense. I don't think we are going to see any gaming specific stuff. In terms of the last update being lame, yes it was. Actually the A12 that they put in to replace the A10X is slower in basically all metrics. However, it's about the same 
and it's a chip they still make which is the reason that they updated it it was purely to um keep costs down i would say it also uh, puts out less power so less heat so it's easier to keep cool that's basically why they did it Next up, Tim Kinetics asks, IK Vance's M2 reveal at the March event or later in the year? I think March event, I've said this before, I, I don't know. We know that there's a, a MacBook of some sort that's been registered with the EEC. Um, and we've basically filled up all of the MacBook slots so far. So M2 is the only real uh, thing that makes any kind of sense to me. Sibrin Roofs asks, IK Vance's, do you expect the current political unrest and economic consequences to affect Apple's prices for the upcoming products? Now, obviously, as I said in the last video, or the last one where I discussed Ukraine, the worst thing happening there is not that it might affect supply chains for other stuff. It's a horrible thing that's happening to the people of Ukraine. That's the most important thing. However, there are a couple of things that could affect supply chain, specifically that the majority of neon comes from Ukraine, and that's what's used for cooling the lasers, I believe, that are actually etching chips um, in SOCs. So... So I think there's definitely going to be some knock-on effect there, uh, but I think Apple has booked up enough capacity already ahead of everyone else. It's probably going to affect other people more than Apple. Eugene King asks, IK Vances, is there a small monitor I can use with a Mac to hold the dock so I can click icons there and then open apps in my main screen? In terms of small uh, displays, what I would suggest is use an iPad. If you've got one, use it in sidecar mode. You can place that underneath your display and then uh, use that as your kind of dock and um, a control center kind of thing and then use your main display that way that would be my best suggestion just a quick interlude uh ted who's my boy if you've been following the channel for a long time you'll know that he's been going through leukemia treatment he's doing really well and he is coming to the end of his treatment uh, we've got about a month left and uh what we're doing is we've got a ted's pocket money gofundme set up because we want to give him a really cool day out we've basically been in the house for the last three years and uh, we want to take him to london and take him to a big old toy shop so if you've been following the channel for a long time and you really want to help Ted out with a cool day in London, um, I'll leave a link down in the description. Thank you so much. Thanks. James Apple, I don't know why, but the colours on the Apple invite is maybe indicating the colours for either the iPhone SE or the iPad Air. Um, I don't think the SE is going to come in a massive range of colours. It normally comes in three, I think. So it's black, white, red. Um, iPad Air, potentially, uh, or maybe Mac Mini. Um, we might even see more colours coming in the Mac Mini or the MacBook. We will see. James Apple, if an announcement wasn't made today, would you think the products on the peak performance would show up via press release? The Ukraine and Russia fiasco isn't helping the morale of people right now. No, I get all that. Um, I don't think that they would necessarily press release all of these. They could. Let's be honest, all this is, all a digital event is, is a big press release. It's, it's just like a longer video where they put multiple products in. It is a press release. That's all this is. Yuri Tech. IK Vances, do you agree with what I can think of from the Apple event invite? Bright and dark colors possibly represent the iPad Air 5 and the iPhone SE 3 slash iPhone SE 5G. The dark colors possibly represent a Mac Pro coming to the event, which we could be seeing a high-end Mac Mini or the M2 MacBook Pro. So I don't think we're going to be seeing anything Mac Pro. I think we are going to see Pro chips in the Mac Mini. That makes sense. M2 MacBook don't think it's going to have the Pro in the title, but I could well be wrong on that. But that's that's my thoughts. I don't think that they're going to start putting M2 chips into something with the Pro name on it. I think Pro should be reserved for Pro and Max chips from now on. But I've said this in the past, and Apple is terrible at naming things, so uh, who knows? Uh, but yes, I do think we're going to be getting a combination of bright colours and uh, some more Pro stuff. Maybe a Space Grey Mac Mini for that M1 Pro, M1 Max version. But we will see. Anyway, guys, I know this is a bit of a race through this one. It's not going to be a huge amount of editing because, again, I'm off to work. But uh, enjoy the show. We will be talking again more in the next few days. And tomorrow I should have a little bit more time to work on the video. So um, smash the uh, comment section with any more questions that you guys have. Thank you so much. And we'll see you in the next one.